Hello and welcome back to Nana's Corner. Today we are going to make a homemade chicken pot pie. I have chicken fire parts here. We've got the thigh and the leg and the breast all together. I'll put that in a half a pot of water. Don't worry about separating that once we get it going. All right, I've got one medium onion cut up. Mm, you hear the kitty cat? And about three stalks of salt, celery cut up. And I didn't worry about cutting this up small because we're just gonna keep the juice from our stock here. And a half a bag of baby carrots. I've got about four bouillon cubes. Mmm, that one's hard. I don't want to break up. Neither does that one. I give up. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a little hard doing this, holding the phone and trying to do the rest of it without help. Hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to turn it off so I can open up the things. I got some ground fine. I'm just going to give it a light sprinkle. Yeah, I'd say about half a teaspoon. Got poultry seasoning. About the same. Just a hint of cayenne pepper. And some crushed rosemary. Once again, about half a teaspoon. More to your liking. Give this a little stir. What we're doing here, we're making the broth and cooking the chicken for the pot pie. When this is done, we will drain it and discard the vegetables. All right. I'm gonna put this on about medium heat and let this cook until it's done. All right, the chicken is done. We are going to move it over to the sink and I am going to strain it into this dish. All right, we are sauteing the rest of the baby carrots. It was the other half of the bag, about four stalks of celery, about medium onion. I like to use the sweet onions. Uh, sauteing this in uh, half a stick of butter. I got the chicken shredded. Ended up with about three cups there. And our broth from earlier, we ended up right at eight cups, just a little bit under. I say probably about seven and a half cups. Okay, I am going to add about two big spoonfuls of better than bouillon chicken flavored to this broth. just to give it a little bit more of a kick. A little bit more, maybe. We're gonna make it three. All right, in addition to that, I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of pressed rosemary a little bit more. Some ground thyme. About the same. Just a little sprinkle of that again. Let's see what we got. Season this to your liking. You may 
one a little bit more or a little bit less of what I've used. That's good. Perfect. Doesn't need anything else. Okay, now we're going to make our mixer up here. I got about four tablespoons of flour. I'm going to do this a little bit at a time. Turn it down a little bit. Everything nice and coated. about two tablespoons of heavy cream. Didn't measure that one, so about that. Is it rue or rux? <laughs> I can't remember, but that's what I'm working on. And we're not going to use all that broth that we made up. What's left over, I'll save and uh, use it for something else. Good for a for a couple of days. All right, now we're going to add about two cups of the broth that we made. chicken with veggies <laughs> all right I lightly salted and peppered the chicken all right I ended up doubling the broth the flour and the, the creamer because it wasn't enough to fill my pan I added a about three-fourths cup of frozen peas I'm going to add about half of this chicken in. Or all of it, actually, I think might be okay. Sorry about the sun coming through. I've got these big windows in here. Love it during the day, get extra sunlight in here and so you can see better. All right. Oh, that looks wonderful. I ended up only using about half of my broth. All right, I'm going to transfer this to the dish and I'll be right back. All right, I took two pies crust. I wanted to do puff pastry, but the store didn't have them. <laughs> I kind of did what I had to do to get it in the pan. We got a 9 by 11 pan here. All right, I've got it ready. I like my pretty line here. <laughs> Couldn't find my rolling pin, so that part didn't turn out so pretty. We are going to stick this in the oven now for about 35, 40 minutes. And... I'll double check on the time and be back with you when it's ready. All right, this is the moment of truth. It appears the bottom got done. I was a little worried about that from not pre-cooking. Make a mess here. <clears throat> I 
that would look wonderful. That turned out perfect. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> that was very good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. And until next time, have a great day.